Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm Michael. We're Meet, Meet These Robinsons. Robinsons. Um, we're going to take a little trip to see about an area that we've heard about from RVers, but we've also heard about from locals and see, they're kind of two different opinions, so we're going to go out there and see for ourselves what the area is like and we'll let you know in a few minutes or when we get out there. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up um, or leave us a comment on it if you think there's something else that you'd like to know or how we can improve. Um, also, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please subscribe. And to the people that are subscribed, thank you. Very much. Drink. We'll see if it works. Hold that a second. I got a truck to dress. Okay. So that people don't get a peep show. Yep.
Should we go here or there? Um, I'm not sure. Let's. Let get me up. get off the road. Yeah. Do a circle around that little building. Oh, there's some riding there. Okay, let me back up. Okay, we are here at uh, Slab City, uh, California. Uh, you'll have to excuse the hair, helmet hair from the moped. Uh, kind of a rough road coming in, uh, especially for a moped or a motorcycle RV. I don't think it'd be too bad. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to be bringing mine out here. It's a little bit too rough. Uh, of course, you can see it's getting kind of dark, so we're fixing to be heading back to back to our house or our RV. And it's it's a pretty big place out here. Uh, from what we've seen before or heard before we came out here, uh, there were some signs as we was going through that there's free internet. And uh, there's a little place called the, uh, the Slab City Hotel, which I'm not going to give that away. You'll have to come out and look for yourself on that one. Um, but other than that, it's you know, we came out here in the evening when it's not so hot. So 
Uh, I'm sure it gets pretty hot out here during the day. But other than that, um, definitely ain't coming out here during the summer. <laughs> right, right. And right now fall. it's we're in what mid August. Right. So, Middle to yeah. almost the end of August. We probably got about another six ten days more weeks of hot weather. I'm thinking. Oh well, ten more days for yeah, this month. We're, we're in the desert, so. I'm saying ten more days for this month, mm. and the month starts over. Yeah. But from what I heard, it doesn't cool down until like October. Yeah, October, maybe even November. But I don't know. We'll find that out when that time comes. So anyway. <laughs> We'd like to come back out again at that time. Yeah. Or maybe a little later and see if we actually see some snowbirds traveling in. There you go. Okay, well, in one of our upcoming videos, we're going to have a giveaway, but we're not going to tell you which video. So you'll have to stay tuned. Okay, so last month for my birthday, uh, one of my gifts was being signed up on Birchbox. Um, they sent me a few products to try. Um, before I get into it, one of the things I want to talk about is that with Birchbox, I like this because when we are in an RV park, I can try out some of these products and see which ones I like before we're actually out boondocking. That way I know which products that I don't want to use. Because like when we're out boondocking, we're trying to conserve water. And of course we have our solar, so we try to conserve electricity. But I'd like to, to know ahead of time before we're out there which products are possible to use out there and me still get to be a girly girl. Yes, I, <laughs> even with RV camping, I still like being a girl. Um, out of last month's box, I did like this beauty protector, protectant and de detangle spray. This was really nice. It left my hair really soft and it was easy to wash out. This one I actually like too, except once I looked up the price, that part didn't settle with me. Um, O-R-I-B-E Wave and Shine Spray, but it was easy to wash out too. Um, brow pencil. I don't feel that I need a brow pencil, and so I'll boondocking when we're conserving water I think this kind of doesn't help because then I'm having to use more water to wash off excess things that I don't really need um, it was goof proof brow pencil I did try it just for the hell of it and yeah, it took a little more to wash off, but I really didn't even like it. It didn't go on right. It, I really didn't like it. This one was Lock Rose to the Occasion Matte Lipstick. And this one I actually liked. It felt like it moisturized my lips a little bit. And that's another thing, being on the moped, you kind of have to use a little bit more chapstick or, if you're a girl, lipstick to keep your lips moisturized because you do end up with chapped lips. And this one was Air Repair Complex Boosting Moisturizer. It was nice, but I wouldn't want to have to wash this off when I'm trying to conserve water. So, two products got my thumbs up. My, along for my birthday, I also got Ipsy. I did like this Horsby Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask but I wouldn't want to use it when I'm out there boondocking and trying to conserve water. 
Um, I also got Sugar, Stroke of Genius, Back to Black eyeliner, and I haven't honestly haven't tried this one yet because this is my August bag. Um, this, usually, I like this brand, Makeup Forever eyelash stuff, but this one I did not like it. it might, maybe it's the brush that came in it, but no, I didn't like this one. And Hey Honey Come Clean Facial Scrub. This one I wouldn't want to use when I'm trying to conserve water because I have to use more water to get it off my face. And last but not least, the Balm Voyage. And it's an eyeshadow, which I've tried. Really nice. It's actually a really pretty color. And with my eye makeup remover, this came off really easy. And then I was able to wash my face. So this one had a thumbs up. This one had a thumbs up if I'm not boondocking. <laughs> This one I didn't like, this one, and this one I still got to try. But today's mail, my new birch box came in. Yay! Yay! And it's already opened. It arrived late and it's already open. Okay, let's see if everything's there. It's not open on the other sides. And also my insurance. I won't open that for you guys. kind of matches the situation considering we're in Southern California with palm trees. <laughs> right. <laughs> All it needs is a little RV on, on the front of it. <laughs> right. Yeah. One thing I do like about Ipsy over Birchbox is I get the little free makeup bag each month. Birch box doesn't seem to give. Easy does it. Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. C. Buckthorn Berry. Smells good. Dry shampoos could be good for boondocking as long as it's not hard to wash out later. Beauty protector. Protect and blonde toning shampoo. Ooh, that one's definitely purple. Not getting much of a smell. Hmm. Oh well, if it doesn't have a smell, I can add a little bit of essential oil. Blush and bronzer palette. Okay, I'll look at that in a second. And I'm reading it upside down. Stella all stay all day lipstick. <whistles> Trying to see what the color was. It's 
kind of gotten dark here, so it's a little hard to read this. That's a permanent lipstick. And that's going to take makeup remover to get it off. It's not a bad color. No. Uh -uh. Purple. No, that's not purple. Uh, that's purple to me. I might be a little bit color blonde. <laughs> Marcella. Or Marcel. Yeah, Marcel. Hydra C. Energizing hydrating gel. Apply in the morning, either alone or under makeup, onto well cleansed skin. Okay. That one feels light. That one might actually work. I hope to give it a try. The other one was too thick of a lotion and I don't want to fight to get my makeup off at the end of the day. Also on our way back from Slab City. Oh, my nose itches. We stopped, talked to a local, which was a actual officer, police officer. Uh, sure. To get hit. Oh, yeah, sure. And to get his opinion of, along with other locals. And I guess they really. They really don't like Slab City, especially in the summer. They don't mind the snowbirds in the winter. They just don't like all the homeless people that live out there year round. They, uh, from what he was telling us, they'll, uh, yeah. Contouring. They'll, uh, if you have a beef with someone out there, they'll burn your trailer down. Yeah, so, I, don't yeah want, I, don't <laughs> I don't want somebody burning my trailer down just because they right. don't agree with me. Right. But I don't think I want to spend off Plus there. That, I don't think it would be, it's still going to be rough on the road going out there if you're on an RV. I do not recommend a motorcycle unless it's an off-road motorcycle. Right. But. Um, I personally don't want to go out there. I mean, we're going to go back out once the snowbirds come in and see what it looks like. But just from what I've seen today, I don't think I would want to boondock out there. But that's just me. I also like right now that normally I love boondocking, but right now I actually like that we're in an RV park with AC and yes, while we're doing the repairs on the RV. Yes. Well, that was my box. Yay! I do want to try the shampoo. Because I do use a shampoo. There's Nala. For my yeah, there's hair. There's Nala. Nala. I want to give that one a shot. Okay. So you like it? Uh, we'll see. I'll give the products a try on okay. whether I'm going to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay. I like some of the products they sent. Um, I'm not big on the whole contouring, so that's just more stuff to wash off my face at the end of the day. I like to keep it, I like to wear makeup, I like to look pretty, but also don't want, I don't want so much makeup on that I feel like a clown. 
but stay tuned to our future upcoming videos and here pretty soon we're going to be having a giveaway for those that because we want to show our appreciation to our current subscribers.